You know, it's a fine winter day today and a good one to go out and take a look at trees that we'd be cutting for shiitake logs. Today we're going to look at some of the most commonly used uh, wood species for cultivation and because a lot of people can't identify trees without their leaves on, we're going to take a look at some other distinguishing characteristics of these trees types. One of the things that we love about shiitake cultivation on natural logs is that it is sustainable. But that sustainability has to be based upon wise choices and tree removal. So we're always picking the stems that really need to come out as part of good forest management. One of the things that we always want to do is to cut trees while they're dormant because then they have the highest sugar content at that time. We also want to source wood that's easy to handle typically between two and a half or oh, up to six inches in diameter. We like to cut wood to a meter in length just because it's so much easier to handle. Our first stop is going to be taking a look at sugar maple. Certainly an excellent tree for shiitake cultivation. And it's somewhat easy to identify because of the gray blue blotches that we find growing uh, on the bark. This is evident on some of the smaller diameter wood, but also as the tree matures, that characteristic still hangs on. It's a real easy way to identify stuff. If you have access to a twig, check it out. It's going to have a chocolate brown cover, color. Well, our next stop here is going to be in front of this ironwood tree. Ironwood is a small tree that forms a mid canopy and that's why it's one of the first things removed in a timber stand improvement cut. It has this platy rectangular bark which gives it away and it also tends to form these knots or growths as the tree matures. The ironwood is good for shiitake cultivation. It's pretty hard on drill bits and saws but it's certainly well worth the effort to cut it. The buds are going to be alternate on the twig. They're going to be pointed. If you have a hand lens, take a look at buds very closely. And you'll notice longitudinal striations on the buds. That's a dead giveaway for ironwood. Beech has this really smooth gray bark, which sets it apart from just about any other tree in a woodlot. I noticed in urban areas, one of the key to identifications of beech is this innate desire for people to carve their initials into it. That's a dead giveaway that it's beach. The buds are a really good clue to American beach. They're alternate and they're really elongated and sharp pointed. The leaves are also a dead giveaway because they tend to cling on during the winter months forming these ghostly white transparent shadows of their former selves. Now let's take a look at white oak. White oak is a preferred species for growing shiitake. It seems to have excellent yields and very few disease problems. One of the things about its bark, it's pale gray, scaly, and not really deeply fissured. One of the nice things about small diameter trees is that they also help you along in identification because they typically hold on to their leaves, which would show rounded lobes and are widest above the middle of the leaves. The twigs, are somewhat gray to red brown and maybe from time to time a little bit purple and the terminal buds tend to be clustered. Here's a tree that's often called a native invasive. This is red or swamp maple. Its bark is gray, kind of like beech, but the difference being as it matures it'll break into ridges, unlike beech which will always remain smooth. A great identification characteristic of red maple is its twig. The twigs are bright red and very shiny. Our gaze now falls upon pin oak. Pin oak can be a small open grown shrubby tree or it can be a large tree that matures into something that could be made into rough lumber. The bark will eventually break into larger plates as the tree matures and they tend to be dark gray to black in color. The twigs are smooth and the buds are rounded or pointed. Another characteristic which helps us along is that young pin oak also tends to hold its leaves. And unlike white oak, which has rounded lobes, 
pin oak has very distinct pointed lobes. If you have questions about suitability of tree species for shiitake cultivation or cultivation of other mushrooms, we do have a chart on our website that covers some of the trees that we have information on gleaned by our customers. If you have information that you'd like to share, please give us a call and we'd like to get it added to our, those species added to our list.